welcome back. Now you guys know the drill. Out in the shop, working on the Nova today. Uh, I think we've got everything installed and hooked up in order to crank the car up. So today's an exciting day, man. The Terminator X is fully installed. The Dakota digital gauges are fully installed. Um, I did go through and set up the selector switch for the gears on the transmission. And it's sweet, man. It programmed flawlessly, no problem. So that is good to go. And let's see, what else did I do this morning? Oh, I want to show you this. I installed the low car dipstick, which actually turned out really nice, I think. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you check that out. All right, there she is right there. There's a dipstick tube. Runs down into the transmission down there. Now I've got the funnel in there because obviously I'm filling the transmission with fluid. I've got about eight quarts in it, including the torque converter. We put two quarts in it um, in the converter when we installed it into the transmission. So I used the other two quarts that were in that gallon and then poured another gallon in it. So eight quarts total so far. That should be enough to crank it up. Um, from what I understand with the Turbo 350, a lot of guys, from what I see, they'll crank it up with about five quarts. So I think we've got plenty of fluid, but I want to show you the dipstick in place, installed, and let me see what else I can show you. All right, so real quick, I want to show you in the car here. There is the handheld controller for the Terminator X. Currently, I've got the PCM just kind of sitting right down there and I'm not sure if I showed you guys this or not but let me see if I can get you up behind the glove box and you can see where I've got all the Dakota digital stuff at not sure if you can see in there there it is right there so you basically have the module for the main cluster and the other module up there is for the gear selector and as I've said many times before, this wiring is going to get all cleaned up. I know it's a mess in here, but yeah, that's just how it is. While you're doing the install, you know, definitely get cleaned up. So, yeah, let me get through the initial programming of the Terminator X. I'm going to do that first. You have to do that first before you can start the car. So we're going to do that. I'm going to double check over everything, make sure I've got everything in place. And yeah, let's get this car started, man. All right, this is the moment of truth. The Holly Terminator X on the 73 Nova LS swap. First start. Fingers crossed this thing cranks up. <laughs> First time. We'll see. Got Nova Castillo there. She don't want to You nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous. Ah, man. Fuel pump prime. Okay. 
All right, so we let the battery charge a little bit longer and we'll try it again. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, could be that the battery voltage is getting too low or I don't know, maybe I messed something up during the initial uh, questions and stuff that the um, Terminator X asked before startup. So I don't know. We'll see, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. Well, I'm thinking that the battery is dropping too low of a voltage um, while trying to crank it. So, um, looking at the cluster, it's showing about 9.6 volts during cranking. So, I think that's getting too low. Um, not sure what to do about it other than to charge the battery until, it's, until the tender says it's fully charged. I am going to research getting a uh, a stronger battery, I guess you say, with uh, maybe some more cranking amps or you know something. I'm going to do a little more research on that. So I don't know. This sucks. This really sucks because I wanted to see the car run. I wanted to see the wheels turn, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen today. Man, I am I am completely disappointed. But it is what it is. Now, I will say that, you know, it is probably harder or tougher on the battery or there's more draw on the battery because now, you know, the transmission is bolted up for good. The converter's in, so now the, the starter's trying to turn the engine and the converter and the pump in the transmission, all that stuff. So, um, I think it's just too much for the state of charge for the battery. Um, you know, hopefully once I let it charge, you know, overnight, um, hopefully it'll be a different story tomorrow, but we'll see. And tonight I'm going to do some research on another battery because, uh, it's frustrating, but I am going to go through, I think I'll go through the, um, the startup or the pre-start questions again and, um, you know, make sure that I answered all of them correctly. There's it's questionable about the map sensor um, because there is a plug, a connection for the map sensor on the Terminator X harness. So I went ahead and hooked it up, but I'm pretty sure I selected the map sensor that's internal of the PCM uh, because there's a vacuum line run to it. I'm pretty sure I selected that, but I could be wrong. Um, so I want to go back through and make sure that I did. But anyway, I'm going to run through that real quick and uh i'll be back all right y'all so i went through the initial startup questions and all that um rechecked everything and i had the map sensor selected correctly so i don't think that's the issue i think the issue is just the battery man it's it's getting down to 9.6 9.7 volts during cranking which from what I understand so far, um, is no good. It's not going to start like that. So that sucks. Um, but I'm going to let the battery charge overnight and we'll try it again tomorrow. Um, but instead of making this video, you know, long, you know, with the first start in case they have more problems, um, you know, I'm going to end this one here, but yeah, I mean, I was really excited to get this thing started today. I wanted to see the wheels turn to give me some more motivation to really kick it in gear with this car. But I don't know, it's going to have to wait for another day. But unfortunately, these are the things that happen. And, you know, the stuff that, you know, I can't control that anybody can't control. So it is what it is, man. We'll get it charged up, fully charged and, you know, see if it'll start then. Hopefully it will. If not, um, I'm gonna get another battery because it's got to start. I need to see it start. I need to see the wheels turn on this car. But anyway, I'm gonna quit babbling. Um, you guys have 
seen enough babbling and enough non-action <laughs> in this video. But anyway, I hope you liked it. If you did, hit a like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. This thing's going to start soon. And we'll see you on the next one.